up, guys? Brian and by George. Um, I'm here at Eagle Bank Arena. Uh, Collect shot me a message that I had to come by and see the new crib. So, um, oh. so, 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 welcome to the crib. Welcome to the crib. Big Haiti. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dang, this is nice. Yes, sir, it's the art. yard. What, what are we walking into here? So, there's like a little lounge area. Um, you know, this is where you just watch TV. We're actually going to get a game system installed. Um, you know, yeah, this is where you just watch like ESPN and stuff like that. Um, right here, you have a big, 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 big fridge. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> drinks. Gotta open the door. Gotta open the door. Drinks always. Who who's asking for the chocolate milk? Uh, I can't say. I can't say. I can't. Say. <laughs> I can't say that. But um, we got some snacks over there. You know, we never go hungry. Always got the snacks on deck before the game, after the game. Um, and if you walk over here, this is where our lockers are at. Um, and tell us a little bit about what it was before, like. So what it was before, it was kind of like the same setup, but it was, we didn't have the doors and um, it was just pretty much open, simple, simple lockers. But now it speaks for itself, Greg Calix. I wanted to get Big Haiti right here, but <laughs> we'll work on that a little bit later. But yeah. Um. One thing I love is, you know, they got doors. I mean, you can pull out all these shelves. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, you got some privacy now. Definitely got a little privacy, but. I don't, don't got to keep no secrets and my shoes don't stink. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, we have a, a little outlets right here to charge your phone and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't have, we don't have that much stuff in here right now because our stuff are at the rack. But, um, and how much, time, how much time are you actually, you step back with us real quick, let's just do a little. How much time are you actually spending in a locker room, say, during the season? Um, during the season, all the time. So we'll practice every day. We'll practice in um, EBA form when it's available. And um, just before practice, everybody in the hour early, socializing and stuff like that, getting an achievement, and then just after practice, like, you know, more jokes and stuff like that. So we spend a lot of time in the locker room, and it's a lot more comfortable than it was um, earlier. So uh, we're very grateful for it, and we'll never take this for, for granted. Yeah, and one thing I really like about the look here is it has where you guys are from. Yes, sir. And, and I don't know, I, I'm not in too many locker rooms, so I don't know if that's standard or not. Um, but it just kind of, you know, helps to build that family vibe that we were just talking about. Yeah, family vibe, and it's just, you know, you always want to know, uh, you always want to have, like, where, where you come from, like, your city and stuff like that, so that's, you know, it, it gets personal. And got Jason Douglas Stanley right next to, right next to me, Mount Vernon, the same city. And, and where is Mount Vernon, like, Mount Vernon in New York? Um, so it's a small city, it's about 25, 30 minutes right outside of New York City, so, uh, yeah, Westchester County. Got it. Exact, so yeah. Awesome. Let's keep the tour going. Keep the tour uh, going. Span over here, Ron. The whiteboard looks silly. It's huge. It's huge. So that's giving you the game clock. And then pan up to there. What, what do you think about this light? Is it too much? Nah, definitely not too much. We went all out. So grateful for it. Um, I feel like it's it's the piece that the locker room needed. Like it just gives it that hump. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely lit. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> definitely lit. Definitely lit. Uh, that's for sure. Let's keep going. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna exit back out um, into the, where the leather seats are. Uh, this is gonna be like a gaming room, like he said. And then show us what what might be my favorite part of the crib. Oh yeah, the film room. So uh, this is where the scouting goes on. Um, the game plans where Coach Paul, you know, sits us down, and this is where we do our scouting, like um, for the team that we're gonna play that week. Um, they're very comfortable. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I can cock back. <laughs> Definitely very comfortable, and there's a lot of space in between, you know, the seats, so everybody's um, comfortable in it. TV speaks for itself. How do you get front row? Do you have to be like tight? Do you have to be a starter? Does anyone nah, take front row? I mean, so people have like their seats. So basically, I'll sit, I'll sit at the end. By choice, or if you were assigned that seat? No, no, it's by choice. So I'll sit at the end. Um, Javon will sit right there. Uh, Gonar will sit right there, and probably Justin will, will sit up, up here too. And it's just, yeah, everybody just has their seat that they prefer and stuff like that. The rookies so. to the, or the freshmen to the back. I mean, they <laughs> want this. <laughs> um, do a quick pan here for us, Ron. I mean, you got whiteboards. I mean, like this setup is a dream for a coach. Um, you have the court, you have half court sets, you have another whiteboard, and this TV must be like an 85 inch TV. <laughs> definitely, like 85, 90, I want to say. <laughs> Um, yeah, definitely a dream come, uh, definitely a dream come true, um, and it definitely speaks for itself, uh, especially for recruits too. So, yeah, 
Yeah. And how much time are you actually spending in here? Like, are, you know, are you are you watching film here every day or? Yeah, so we'll we'll probably get in here. We'll watch, we'll probably watch film um, probably twice or three times a week. It, it depends on the game schedule. But like you know, when we're doing individual film sessions, we'll just do a one on one with a coach. But yeah, it's more so like team for team film sessions and stuff like that. Got it. And then can you show us what like someone someone asked you know is there enough room for you tall like what are you six eight six yeah. nine guys is there enough room yeah, for you guys to actually relax yeah there's definitely enough room definitely it's, it's comfortable so yeah my legs my knees don't don't touch or anything like that um there's definitely enough I feel like they did a good job of, of that space and the, and the design like do you like the george mason in the back it's it's very simple i kind of love the way it's bold and stands out you know do you like the way they kind of design no, this I think it's i think it's beautiful i love it um from the George Mason logo, as simple as it is, is with the little light in the background to just the whole locker room in general. It, it, they did an outstanding job and we're just thankful for it. And we can't thank the donors and our fans enough for it, so yeah. All right, you know, I, can you see us out of your crib? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think we've overstayed our welcome here. We've got a full tour here, thanks to Greg Collects, yeah, Big no Haiti. Problem. We actually call you Cali. I don't care if anyone else does or if you nah, like it or not, nah, but uh, you know, we always see like because we go to Cali and stuff. We're always taking pictures while we're out there of shirts yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Just know that you got a huge support system in, in the yeah. By George Network. That's appreciate 100, it. and uh, we appreciate you giving us a tour. Appreciate everything, guys. We're excited for the season. Yeah. All right, we're out.